The Issues You Care About, a show that digs deeper. It's the Jay Lawrence Show on News Talk 92.3 KTAR. I went to a, a documentary screening on uh, Tuesday night. It was the um, Stuck in Traffic was the name of it, a 30-minute documentary about human trafficking in Phoenix. There are young ladies who have been captured, who have been stolen, uh, who are earning money for pimps, and it's going on in Phoenix, going on around us. There's an organization that tries to get them out. Uh, Vice works very hard at finding them and helping them if possible. The documentary itself that I saw involved students at ASU. How does a 13-year-old wind up in the streets of Phoenix? Some of these kids are throwaways. Some of them are runaways. Some of them are kidnapped. I've seen all of it. And it's such a disturbing topic, people don't want to talk about it. And since they're not talking about it, it kind of slides off the radar and it's missed. Sherry, how did you all get started on the, the documentary, which is marvelous, by the way. I saw it, and I, it's the reason for the show. It's marvelous. Thank you. Um, Christ Church of the Valley actually has been working with Streetlight, and I heard it from them because that's the church that I attend. We talked about it to our Bible studies for girls that we teach in the high, right. at the high school age and junior high school age, and I was really educated through the church and then just got linked up with Streetlight shortly after. The young ladies in the street. Let's go back to Ashley for a moment. Did you work for a pimp? Um, I wouldn't call it work because I never received any money. <laughs> you didn't? Who took care of you? Um, I wasn't taken care of. I was held at an apartment. Um, there would be watchers, other women that would be watching me throughout the day while he was off with his family and working. How many Always. tricks a day were you performing? <sighs> I was bringing in about $2,000 a day. A day? Yeah. And you saw none of it? None of it. I didn't even get to eat three times a day. For how many years was that? It wasn't years. It was only three and a half months. So for three and a half months? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's awful. I mean, just the abuse that, they, that these uh, victims endure. Um, I mean, they're drugged. They're branded. They're raped repeatedly. Um, you know, they're just so manipulated how do they get to you? How do they get to Streetlight? Uh, Vice, actually. Um, we've been working very closely with Vice and um, other community outreach centers, and and so that's kind of how we've hooked up with them. What are we so, doing about the Johns? Anything at all, Sergeant? Well, the Johns are a whole other thing. We're going after them in a variety of ways. We do customer apprehension programs where we have undercover officers working the street. Uh, we are on the Internet. We are everywhere we can possibly be to find a John. And... I think society kind of looks at them as harmless. They're just out there trying to find a good time. And they're the ones, the demand side of the equation, mm -hmm. is what keeps these girls on the street. Because looking at Ashley, she is very young looking and she's not 16 anymore. And you know that when that John went and he, used I her. I was. I was always the first picked. Because always. she looks so young. Yeah. This is such a lucrative business really and it's so easy you talked about the internet john can just get on the internet it's on craigslist it's all isn't over. craigslist one of the main places now where you can find it is that Backpage activity well. craigslist mm -hmm. does they they make millions of dollars in the sex trade and uh, about 36 million a year yes mm -hmm. is that right yeah and it's just so easy to go online. We could do it right now. Go online. You go to adult services. There's a screen that pops up and says, are you 18 years old? It's so easy to click yes. And you can go through and look at the pictures of these girls. Some of their faces are blurred out. Some are not. Um, you know, they're, they're scantily clad. And they, they have their phone number on there. And you can call, up, call them up. And we did that in our documentary. We called up girls and recorded it for a documentary and um, just to speak with them and see what it's like as it, when a John calls in. But it, I also want them to understand that they also stand a good chance of that being a police officer on the other end. Exactly. A lot of people hear the story from the girls and they go, nah, not in my city, that doesn't happen here. 13 years old, mm -hmm. 13 years old and younger. How in the world? And the thing that surprised me the most is it happens to any family. People think, like you said, not me, not here in Scottsdale, right. not here. What, Phoenix? Maybe in downtown or someone from a poor family or someone with a bad background or parents who don't love them or care about them. No, it's 
anyone. It's people with loving families, with siblings, who go to school, who get good grades, who have jobs. Yeah. It's these people, too. It's anyone. I think the worst thing that we do as a group is come up with these stereotypes and say, okay, a prostituted woman's going to look like this. Exactly. A pimp is going to look like this. A John is going to look like this. And I have seen them all races, both sexes, all mm -hmm. ages. And that's what Another our documentary state. was trying to do is raise awareness. Don't shield your child of this now that you know. Do something. Inform your child. At the very exactly. least, Spread the teach word. your children mm -hmm. Okay, stranger danger, but there's more to it than just that. Mm -hmm. In studio with us tonight, the stars of a documentary, Stuck in Traffic. It's a documentary that you may be seeing. It's a very painful documentary. The mall. Yes, That's yes. where a lot of this goes on, yes? Any place you've got Any a congregation place. of young girls, you're going to have pimps there circling like sharks looking to pick one off. And that's just the fact of it. It's a pimp is always recruiting, always looking for the next victim. There has to be some s sort of awareness for these girls. And I think we're getting there just having it on the news, having it on radio stations. We're getting there. But it needs there needs to be so much more. And it's so easy to pick these girls up because they're vulnerable. I remember being 12 years old and having an older man, maybe 20 years old, come up to me saying how pretty I was. Can I take your mm -hmm. picture? You look so yeah. nice. Can You could be a model. How many, and I've spoken with other girls my age who said, who said I remember someone coming up to me and saying things and like that. And what 12-year-old doesn't want to be a what, model? Who doesn't want to hear that? And you're so vulnerable at that exactly. age. You, yeah, okay, I'll be a model. I want to be like Britney Spears or, you know, who are these role models that we're looking up to or whoever right. it is. Yeah. It, that's why it's so easy to coerce these girls to and go into mall and take them. they know everything at that age. They think they know everything yeah. at that age. It's not until you're like 25 do you actually look back on your life and be like, wow, I don't know everything. Yeah, and that self-awareness, that's what makes the youngsters perfect victims. Right. They're easier to control. They don't have the wherewithal to tell somebody no. And as far as is this, you know, sex education, no. This is it, Prostitution is less about sex and more about power. It is a form of slavery, and that's the trafficking. Right. That's, that's what we're talking about. There are women that are doing it because they want to. Right. They are there as well. And that's their choice. This this is not a choice at all. You don't know when you can pee. You don't know when you can eat. You don't know what you can when you can blink. And it can be your daughter, your sister. It can be anybody out there. It's not just a certain type. It's not just that girl from the wrong side of the it's tracks. Not. not by a long shot. It can happen to anybody. We've seen girls from very well-to-do families that were kidnapped. You can't sit across the table from them and talk to them and not feel the pain that they've gone through and the pain that they've got yet to go through because this is going to be with them for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Your website? www.streetlightphx.com. That's where you can go um, to you know, get all the information. Sergeant? Look beneath the surface. Don't just shine this on and say that it's nothing. I would much rather go out and investigate a nothing than to have somebody stuck in prostitution.